Hey everybody, Clay Archer, CEO of DPC Technology. On this long holiday weekend, I'm sure some of you will be at home on the internet. So this week we're gonna do a tech tip on the, how to use the advanced search features inside of Twitter. I quickly wanna give a shout out to Palmetto Technology Group, PTG. They actually had this tech tip on their blog a few months back, maybe six months ago, uh, and I found myself using it all the time. So let's jump in real quick and we're gonna look at how to use the advanced search feature inside of Twitter. Uh, and probably before I get too deep into it, I should explain to you why I would why you would use this. Um, obviously Twitter being a stream, things come by really quickly and then they're gone. They're actually still there, but you know, you don't see them anymore. And uh, every once in a while I find myself going, man, where did, where, I remember that somebody said this uh, or somebody posted an article about this and I wanna go back and read it or see it or listen to it or whatever it is, but it's almost impossible to find it by just searching through people's threads. So this is a way to be able to quickly use some different criteria to search back through those things. We'll start off by how do you find the advanced uh, search feature. You're gonna notice that there it is not available anywhere when you're looking around inside of Twitter. So there's a couple different ways. The first one is you could simply just search Twitter advanced search and the first result there in, in uh, Google will be Twitter advanced search and it'll bring you right up to the advanced search page. I don't go that way. I typically just in the search bar will just uh, search for anything. And as soon as you search for anything, you can just click on advanced search and it will bring you up into the advanced search uh, window. So in here, basically there's a bunch of different search methods that you can do. So basically at the top here are all the different words and the way you can, uh, can search the words. So you can do all of these words, meaning that it has all of these words in the in the phrase that you're searching for. Uh, then you can do an exact phrase, meaning those words are exactly together in a phrase. Any of these words, just meaning that it's got any of these or some of these words in it. Uh, or you can exclude words by the none of word, none of these words. Uh, you can also do it by hashtags. Um, and this is kind of where the more powerful part for me is, is that I can do it by accounts. So I can search for certain people's accounts, whether it is they wrote the tweet or the tweet was written to them, or they were mentioned in a tweet. So um, all three of those are pretty powerful. There are some filters that you can do. You can have ones that only have replies, you can do ones that only have links outside of it. And there's one more thing that I think is really kind of super helpful, at least for me, is especially if you have somebody that tweets a lot and they have some really popular posts, you can really kind of weed it out by their most popular posts. So you can put in a number of likes or a number of retweets try and say that five times fast, the number of retweets, um, and then you can uh, you know filter it out by that. You can also do it by dates, but let's jump right in and I'm gonna do a, a couple of quick examples. One thing I use it for all the time, I'm a Formula One fan, um, and there are a few things that I'm looking for schedules. Obviously, uh, Formula One happens all over the world, so sometimes it's in the middle of the night uh, and you miss things. There's a thing called Paddock Pass, it's just, um, them basically walking around the pit lane and kind of talking about the race that's coming up that weekend. They talk to the drivers and stuff. Um, and I know that is gonna be, gonna be from the F1 account. You know, every race weekend, or I listen to it every race weekend, whether it's on a podcast or whether it's on a video. And you can see it brings up Paddock Pass from Formula One. Formula One's super popular, so the first uh, one will be the top one. And so obviously I'm not looking for October 19th or October 12th. Uh, I'm looking for the latest, which would have been a couple weeks ago when they were in Turkey. And there you go, if I click latest, Turkey Paddock Pass, and I can just listen to that podcast. And I can scroll back and I can see that they typically do one or two or three. I can see the different ones for the weekend or the previous uh, week in Imola, or you know, I can scroll back through all of them and I can find them all. Um, I also do this for the TV schedule for Formula One, which is also kind of all over the place. So Formula One, if I just went into Formula One's account, if I just click on Formula One, you'll see that they tweet a bazillion things a day. And I'm never gonna find uh, something from two weeks ago inside of here because you know they post every hour on the hour. So that's a great example of where I typically use it. I also use Twitter for a lot of content dri driven stuff. So I get a lot of reviews and that kind of stuff. So. An example of that would be uh, cameras. I'm, I'm obviously into cameras and uh, I could do a review. Uh, A7C is one of the latest cameras out and a guy that does really, really good reviews is Gerald Anun. And I'm gonna put Anun. He's really, really gets in there and does some deep dives in there. And I can go down there and I can see 
Now I'm back on the latest because I clicked it before, but I can also go back to the top and there's his review of those and I could go back through and, and take a look at it. You can also do some other things in there. Um, you'll notice both times when I've searched, it's put this con this content or context up top. I can change this up here. So if I wanted to see his review of a different camera, I'm gonna go to Canon C70, brand new camera. He's gotta do something, there you go. So I can change context right up there um, and I can quickly see if he's ever done a, a content on it on those other cameras. Um, and you know, everybody's gonna use it a little differently. Uh, that's a great way that I would use it. I can also go in here in advanced search and maybe just see, let's just see every time another member mentioned Gerald Lennon. Uh, a lot of the other content creators like him. And so you can find some stuff that's kind of neat. You can find some other people to follow him. So these are everybody else, Peter McKinnon, Maddie Hapoya, Becky and Chris. These are all, uh, Jesse Drifter. These are all big content creators that do photography. And you can kind of see what they're asking and talking to Gerald Dundana. No, no, no. Maybe that's kind of not as important to me as the uh, just finding videos or whatever. But those are a couple of the ways that I use it. Uh, get in there, kind of kick the tires on it a little bit. You'll use it more, you'll use it less. You could, you know, go in here if you just wanted to see somebody that's super popular. Uh, I had in there, uh, let's say, Casey Neistat's pretty popular. I think I've searched him before. I keep seeing his name there. And I can see his biggest tweets. Let's just say minimum of 30,000. Well, let's even go lower. Let's just go 5,000. 5,000 likes. That's gonna be a bazillion tweets for him. Um, but there, there, there you go. Every one of these tweets is gonna have at least 5,000, 1,000 like, likes. Anyways, you could do that for any account and kind of see, you know, I could make this bigger. I could say, no, uh, make that 30,000. Or I could, you know, do whatever there. You can do whatever you need to do. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, that's how I use advanced search in Twitter to kind of filter through and find stuff that I really wanna see, content that I wanna see from the people that I wanna see. Um, if this is the kind of stuff that you like, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. We'd be happy to answer those questions for you. Um, also have a great and wonderful holiday weekend. Stay safe and we will see you guys in the next video.